In this video, I'm going to show you how Pavin absolutely bagged John Beast and his gun bunch offense. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Now, uh, all of you guys know that I love watching competitive Madden. I love learning from competitive Madden because again, I'm trying to get better as if you're watching this video, you're probably trying to get better as well. And John Beast ran a very, very effective offense out of the Carolina gun bunch. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to share with you a little bit about Pavin's 335 wide defense. Actually, it's very, very similar to my 335 wide defensive ebook, which you can pick up in the description of this video. Now, if you want to get a free sample of this, you can text me. My number will pop up on the left-hand corner of your screen here in just a second. But again, I just want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Research shows only 30% of you guys have actually subscribed to the channel. So make sure that you are clicking that subscribe button so that you can get every new video that comes out. So let's dive right into uh, how Pavin and really bagged John Beast's offense. Okay, guys, so we're over in practice mode right now, and Pavin was running the 4-6 defense. Now, a lot of people uh, have in the competitive community are running the 46 defense right now, and the reason why is because it's been the best defense all season long. Literally, it's my favorite defense. I've been running this defense since June, and it is an absolutely insane defense. Now, what you're going to do here is you're going to make sure that you sub in all cornerbacks on the outside corners and safeties positions as you can see right here these are all corners what that's going to free you up to do is then sub in safeties at the linebacker position as you can see now i have three safeties down here the reason this matters is because this is going to allow these safeties to animate in the pass game so uh, what we're going to basically do is we're going to almost always audible down into the three through five wide defense so you see here i'm making some adjustments to my coaching settings um, and if you want to set your zone drops you can obviously do that now pavin actually played mostly man-to-man -man coverage with one step ahead on his corners that's what i would recommend as well so anyways we're going to dive right in here to two specific defenses both a man defense and a zone defense that he used to absolutely bag the bunch offense from and i believe john beast is actually running this from the jets playbook might have been running this from another playbook as well but one of his favorite plays was this bench pivot play Another one of his top plays was Flood. Uh, he loved Bunch Trail as well, and of course, Mesh Post. So uh, we're going to come out and Jets dig and kind of break this down a little bit for you. So uh, really quickly, again, if you want to get a sample to the defensive ebook, just text me. My number is 812-216-3644. Also, if you want to get any, any, if you want to get our text message membership tips, or if you have any questions, you can always text me. So. All we're going to do is we're going to audible down into the Mike Blitz 3. And as you can see here, this is going to be kind of our zone coverage that we're going to use. So we have a man coverage and we have a zone coverage, and they're going to, you're going to like that they look exactly identical. So all we're going to do is we're going to press coverage, we're going to spread our line, and then I typically like to go ahead and crash the line out. And then from there, what we're going to do is basically run essentially a Mabel coverage. We're going to put both outside linebackers here into hard flats. And then we're going to take that right of screen guy. And we're either going to put him in a three rack or a vertical hook. Now against gun bunch, I like to run him on a vertical hook most of the time. Against gun bunch tight end, I actually like to run him on a three rack hook, which you do that by bluff blitzing him. It's going to get him to drop to a little bit of a different uh, spot on the field. So anyways, we're going to vert hook him and then we're just going to pass commit. Now what I like to do also with this is I like to go ahead and deep half both of my outside corners just to protect against any type of glitchy coverage beaters that John Beast might have had. And this is what kind of Pavin was doing as well. And as you'll see here, this is phenomenal, phenomenal defense. You're going to basically be able to lurk the middle of the field. Now, if you notice that they are um, throwing a lot of hitches on this play or something like that, you can go ahead in your zone drops and essentially tell your yellow zones to play underneath at five yards. That will keep the yellow zones down on any types of hitch routes or anything like that. But what this does is does a good job of stopping a lot of the flood concepts that people run out of gun bunch, and you get pretty good sheds because you're blitzing your user on the play. Now what I want to do is I want to shift and I want to talk about a man coverage that looks basically identical to this, but will completely bag any type of man or zone beaters that a lot of people are using. So we're going to audible down to cover two man. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to press coverage, spread our line, crash our line out, 
And then we're going to basically take this linebacker that's blitzing on the right-hand corner, and we're going to man him up on the tight end, and then we're going to shade coverage outside and shade coverage underneath. That's a really, really important step, and you want to make sure that you have two safeties deep whenever you do this tactic. If you don't have two safeties deep, you're going to struggle if you decide to do this shade coverage. We're obviously going to blitz our user, and then from there we can put one of our defensive ends in any zone that we want to do. I normally like to take the guy and zone him up on the bunch side and essentially just throw him into a curl flat zone. And I'm going to pass it, and as you'll see here, we're going to send two. And this man coverage is insanely hard to beat, and the pressure comes in super, super fast against this offense. Let me show you that setup one more time. We're going to audible to cover two man out of 3 through 5 wide. We're going to press coverage, spread our line, crash our line out just like every time. And then we're going to man up the linebacker on the right of screen on the tight end. Shade coverage outside, shade coverage down. And from there, it's pretty much set up. You could always blitz three if you wanted to, or you could basically zone out on this defense and as you can see here this is a phenomenal phenomenal defense that you can use now Pavin actually had double or nothing on his pass rushers down there uh, in that defensive line so if you have if you're playing mutt you can obviously put those abilities onto your players and then in that situation you might not want to um, you know you might you might want to blitz three every play or you might want to do something like this where you drop your defensive tackle kind of over the middle here you'll see he'll kind of play hitches and then you can kind of work this left side uh, relatively easily so this is a phenomenal phenomenal defense i can't tell you how good this defense is it's the big defense that i personally run it's very very effective we obviously show you a little bit more in our defensive ebook about how to run this defense but this defense for pavin was absolutely insane you see here yet another user pick and just was able to really really handle a lot of what john beast was doing on the offensive side of the ball this is what propelled pavin to a uh, semi-final or a, a, a tournament championship matchup against Jay Wall. So all that to say, guys, I just want to encourage you, if you haven't checked out the 335 wide defense yet, my link is in the description for you. It's just 15 bucks to get the best defense in the entire game. It'll show you how to lock up trips tight end, gun bunch, strong close, bunch tight end, any popular offense right now in the community, this defense will be able to stop it. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you want a free sample to that defense, go ahead and shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. It is also in the description of this video. And just a quick reminder for those of you that want to pick up the defense, if you want to get that defensive ebook, there is a link in the description that will lead you to pick up my 335, 335 wide defensive guide. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on tonight's stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.